Can you tell us a little bit about your songwriting process? I usually have my phone and, you know, and a melody comes and, you know, even, even if I'm driving or whatever, I always record the melody because it's, it, I'm sure it's something that I'm going to be able to use at some point, you know. On my own over the year, you know, or a year and a half or whatever, I collect enough songs that I write anywhere, you know, at a sound check or in my house or whatever. Always, always doing something, you know. Um, creativity is, is interesting that way. And once you learn how to manage it, at least me, I know that um, any little melody that crosses my mind, anything, you know, um, I need to put it down, I need to raise it, I need to, um, you know, treasure that because I know that at some point it's going to end up being a song. How about writing with uh, Ron Sexsmith, uh, Half a Chance with... Somebody with the caliber of Ron Sexsmith as a songwriter. Um, in, at least in my case, you know, I, I kind of feel weird to make him sing something that I wrote in English myself, you know, so I say, uh, okay, let's get him to write his own lyrics to this so that he, we know that he's going to do an amazing job and, and on top of that, he's going to be totally comfortable singing it, right? So we sent him a translation of the song and um, I don't know, I think it was like 24 hours that it took to send, send us the song back, a demo already and the and I got on the phone with him right away and I said, dude, how do you do this? You know, what kind of genius are you? You know, he's like, he's like, I don't know, Alex, uh, the poetry was all there. You did it. I didn't do anything. I said, sure, you make it sound easy. Uh, you're, I understand you're working on uh, The Cuban Bus, which is going to be this uh, documentary of you traveling across Cuba and that you were recording as you were doing it. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happened and how it went down? Oh, man, it was an amazing experience. You know, I got to tell you, I, I, I went to places we already did. 10 days of shooting in Cuba, um, mid-February. And uh, I went to places that I've never been to in, in, in my country, you know. I was starting to feel for a while like, mm, I know Canada more than Cuba now, right? Because me playing music, you go everywhere, right? But this idea from the beginning um, seemed very um, appealing to me. And we, yeah, we got so many amazing music. I'm really looking forward to an incredible moments and you know, place, we did things like, for example, we went to a place called Hibara, which is where Christopher Columbus first landed in Cuba. And um, we were looking for a drum set because we were recording this singer songwriter, and w his music was kind of on the funky side, so we wanted to do a little bit of a rhythm session for him, right? Joby plays drums, and I play bass. So we went on a, on a, on a quest looking for drums. <laughs> And for a bass, oh my God. And it was like the most amazing thing because um, the ones we found, they were, I think they were the only ones in the place, right? They were in, just in mind the condition that they were, you know, like, and we made them sound super cool, you know. We didn't even have uh, drumsticks, so we, we went beach coming and, and with, uh, with a Swiss, uh, Swiss Army knife, we, you know, <laughs> Joey made some <laughs> drumsticks. And, and then I was playing the bass. The bass was, the strings were all rusty and tough, but I put some tape on the pickups because it was making content. Anyway, I was inside the bus, and then I was pushing play on the recording, and Joey was on the, it was super fun.